All right. Coach Pennington, um, obviously a pretty impressive sprint core going out to uh, Eugene. Uh, first, let's talk about the individuals, Amir, James, and Michael Larkin. Uh, I think it's pretty good performance by both of them. Honestly, before uh, Jacksonville, me and Amir talked about maybe, uh, preferably, I, I would like him to scratch the 100. Uh, he wanted to run the 100, and I guess it worked out in our favor. You know, I think we were concentrating more on the 200. I, you know, I, I've been telling him all year I think he's a 2-4 guy, but obviously he, he can run the 100. It's just not that I didn't think he could run the 100. It was more about injury and, and him being injury-free for the 200, and the 100 puts a lot of strain on him. So I think overall pretty good performance. You know, um, there's only three, three teams in the nation right now with more than two guys at the national meet in the 100, and that's us, LSU, and Arkansas. So I think that's a pretty pretty big accomplishment for the guys, you know. So uh, overall, though, I think just being on top of each other like they are and going back and forth throughout the year, they've pushed each other. And I think Mike was just excited about his race as he was for Amir getting in also, you know. So I think that's a big confidence booster for both of them to get in on top of, you know, Micah, after he gets done running, he, he looks at me and says, this is more exciting than conference, you know. So, so you know, it's, it's a big step for them, mainly the freshmen to go out there and get national exposure that they're about to get. So. I don't think either one of them is going to back down from competition, so I think they should have a great meet. All right, let's switch to the 4 by one and uh, not a surprise they qualified, but uh, certainly a, a strong race and uh, a tough field. Man, it seemed like we, we kept catching the fast heats no matter where we were, you know, even though they were randomly seated, it just we just kept ending up with some pretty fast teams, you know, and um, obviously we were in LSU's heat, they're the number one 4 by one in the nation. Watching the video, uh, we were the first to hand off to the third leg, you know, we actually handed off before LSU and any other team. George, is, uh, he actually ran two races the day before, so he was a little heavy. You know, when you're running two 400-meter hurdle races on a Thursday and a Friday and then turning the, back Saturday and trying to run a 4 by one you're not going to be at top performance, you know. But uh, I thought he ran a pretty good race. His, he also had a hip flexor issue, so he actually just held on enough where, where Ty, and then uh, Ty actually had a little struggle getting the, getting the stick from George. He actually, I think, grabbed his bib before he grabbed the baton, so he ripped it off of him. But overall, a 12th place is as good as first place when you're at regional. So. I was pretty excited about what they did, and we, we've, I told them all I want to do is get to the next round, and then we'll take care of business. So pretty impressed with these four guys, and it, they, they've clicked at the end of the year, and I think they're like, clicking at the right time. So I know they feel impressed. like they can run a uh, sub uh, low 39. I think so. I really do. I, I think they can at least run 39.3, 39.2, somewhere around there. And if they run that, then, then our goal is just to get them to that All-American status, you know, and, and whatever else happens after that, I think will, will just be an accomplishment for them, you know. So I think uh, definitely can go 39 low. Perfect. All right. Thank you.